I said, OK, we, we'll, we'll do an, an all-night. And we charged 50 pence in 1972, I think it was probably April. And a thousand people turned up from all over the country. And I thought, wow, this is amazing. Um, uh, and what we did from then onwards, because the club really financially was at its end, uh, to be brutally honest. Um, and all of a sudden, in a back street of Tunstall, which it was, with terraced houses all round it, suddenly had an all-nighter on, <laughs> even, in the, even though the, the residents had endured um, seven previous years of your Led Zeppelins and your Black Sabbaths and all that sort of band. All of a sudden they had all-nighters every Saturday night from eight o'clock till eight in the morning, because commercially it was on. And in truth, I think the residents had had enough because having a, a club open till 12, 1 o'clock, they seem to live with that. Uh, but till 8 o'clock in the morning, I mean, virtually from here to, well, across a narrow street, uh, they'd had enough. And so the police. Uh, warned me that there was going to be objections and I said well okay get on with it then <laughs> so we we lasted out for about 13 or 14 months um, and when the license came up for renewal the local magistrates turned it down uh, and I totally agree with that it, it couldn't continue because on the basis that it was. And it was from the closing of the torch, because the scene was building up and building up, that Wigan Casino then followed the torch closing, as as much the torch followed the twisted wheel closing. Because in those days, all-nighters to the police was like a no-go anyhow. And, you know, because the drug implications and things like that.